We're here with a very familiar face, Richard Hammond. Tell us why you're at the stadium. Well, we're making a show called <clears throat> Richard Hammond's Big. I know, yeah, it's not wasted on me, don't worry. Um, and each week we're looking at a big and amazing marvel of engineering. And, well, hello, <laughs> this thing qualifies. So we're here to look at the stadium. Um, to be dazzled by the engineering is dual purpose. And when you see, I have actually seen this move now. 10,000 tonnes of pitch splits into three and rolls out. It's just, it's the sort of thing, well, I'd have designed as a kid and then been told, don't be stupid, but they've done it. First time I came here, driving down the high street, you've got shop, shop, building society, office, massive stadium from the future all of a sudden. So it's, it's going to have an effect on its area, it does. And there's a huge responsibility that's clearly taken very, very seriously here for making sure it does that. So it's an incredible project. Yeah, amazing to look at. I think what's most impressive about it and what's most impressed me thus far is the scale of thinking and scale of ambition. Because you could on paper say, yeah, OK, well, I can imagine, yeah, the pitch could like slide out. But then when you see it in reality, you've got to have those huge trees that are supporting the south stand there, which means the pitch doesn't just have to slide, it has to split, split into three parts. And then, where's it going to go? It goes into the car park, which, again, on paper, you'd think, yeah, I can imagine that. But then in reality, it's 10,000 tonnes of machinery and it's a living, breathing pitch. That's real grass. It's just come out now. It's been in there for 14 days. Well, grass doesn't like that. So it's, it's problem after problem after problem that's been addressed and the result is, as you see now, a rather beautiful pitch has just rolled out. It's clever. Now, now you've lived the dream of most Spurs fans because you have been up there and no one else has yet. What was that like? Well, um, look at it this way. I had my eyes shut for more than you will when you go up. It's really high up. <laughs> and the annoying thing is my camera guy, he was giving it, oh, yes, fine, look at that. And I'm over the... <laughs> Oh, the handrail, like that. It was, it was, I'm not very good at heights. It's really high up. It's really, really high up. I, I don't think of it just as a building. It is a machine and it can transform. And it doesn't just change the pitch. It actually changes the atmosphere. It's, it's a different, not just a different sport, it's a different business coming in and a different culture, a different cultural feel. So it, it's incredibly flexible. But also, and you often find this when form follows function closely enough, when it it looks the way it does simply because of what it does. It ends up being rather beautiful, and I think it is. I think it's a really good look. It's quite a, a sculptural building, yeah. which is, I mean, that's a bonus, because it's got all these incredible functions. It does this amazing stuff, and, well, it's beautiful to look at. Well, that's clever.